All right, so uh, so we got our first beat. There's that drag. Okay, you also have a kick going at that at that first beat, that beat three. Okay, so everything on just that first beat sounds like this. Okay, um, you also kind of have an accent again with the left hand on the E of three. If you want to get the technical term, it's three E and a. Okay, so this is like the mathematics of it. You just have that second sixteenth note. Okay, you have. That's what's happening in, in the right and left hand. You have a drag, and then that second, second 16th note. Okay? So add that with the kick. And he kind of accents that, so it's actually going to be louder than, than the right hand that you're doing with that drag. Um, that's what kind of gives it that cool, like, I don't know, off, off feel. It kind of it throws you, like, right from the beginning. Okay. Um, after that, you uh, you just have the downbeat of four, and instead of just sticking on the snare drum, um, this is part of what makes the the fill sound really cool. Is he goes to the hi hat and he does an open hi hat um, for kind of all of all of beat four. Um, this is what uh, the fill sounds like with the downbeat of four. So remember, I've got the kick drum also. This is beats three and four of the kick. So basically what you're going to be doing there is you have that open hi-hat sound, you're hitting with the right hand and your left, your left foot is kind of working to get that open sound, you're relaxing a little bit to get the space between the hats. Um, and I think the, the way that he plays it, he pretty much comes down on beat one. So it's like a quarter note lift, like the duration of the lift, the duration of this hi-hat sound is the whole of beat four. So it's one, two, three, okay, you hear how it comes down on four? I'm sorry, it comes down on one, it opens on four. Two, three, off, right? Um, so uh, look at the next clip. We'll go ahead and finish out this fill and put it all together.